Hi there. Welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique. And getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. So I created a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow with a cloud and a rainbow. Okay, this is going to require just a touch of artistic ability. We're going to have to draw this out on paper for the pot of gold and then trace it or cut it out on the ribbon. But it's really simple and I'll walk you through it and show you exactly how to do it. So, your supply list is here. You're going to need 3 8 inch grow grain, okay, and you're going to need to cut 3 inch pieces, and you need 6 different colors of the rainbow. Your classic colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Um, if you want to switch those up, put some turquoise or some pinks in there, however many you want to do it, please feel free. Make your own rainbow with a pot of gold. I'm just going with classic colors right now. Okay, then you're going to need at least four inches of white corker. If you don't know how to make corker, you just take three eighths inch grow grain ribbon and wind it around a wooden dowel. Make sure it's a wooden dowel. And then bake it in the oven at 225 for about 25 minutes. And then let it cool off and it comes out like this. But um, if you don't want to use corker, you could also use some white pom poms if you want to use that. Okay, then you're going to need some kind of metallic gold ribbon. This is a sparkly metallic gold to look like the gold in the pot. All right, um, I have a foam sparkle um, shamrock decoration here. Then for the pot, you're going to need um, one and a half inch. You're also going to need a white lined alligator clip. For this okay because we stick it on there and then put the ribbon on but um, anyway you're also going to need one and a half inch grow grain ribbon in black okay and this is going to be for the um, the pot of gold and you need about 1.75 to 1.5 inches one and three quarter to one and a half um, I haven't cut it yet because we're just gonna draw out our pot over here on paper and then lay it on here and cut it right off of there. No sense wasting it. Okay, and then miscellaneous, like I said, you're going to need a metallic gold ribbon and a shamrock foam sticker. But that's how you're going to do it. Alright, let's make sure you saw that supply list. Okay, let's start by drawing the pot. And I got off on that one really, really badly. So I'm just going to show you how to draw it on post-it notes. Okay, you can use regular paper, doesn't matter. Okay, you're going to start by measuring out and drawing a line. I'm going to show you all how easy it is. I'm going to do it in ink pen. Okay, you want one and a half inches. So just draw yourself a one and a half inch line. Okay. And then down from there, go down one and a quarter inches. Okay. And just make a dot. You don't have to draw the sides from there. One and a quarter inches. Okay. And then connect them. Of course, it's going to be one and a half when you connect them. Okay. Now you got your two base lines. You set them upright so they're on top of each other. Okay. Now you just take from the top lines right here, just bring them in a little bit. Okay. And then round out the pot. Just draw yourself some round sides. Okay. Just like that. Alright. And now you're going to cut that out. We can just cut the bottom, the top. It really wasn't that hard at all to draw. Just a basic shape of a pot of gold. And y'all, I can't do an Irish accent. I'm a Texan. It just don't work. I'm not even going to try. Although I do wear that, it's for good luck. I found it, tried to locate the owner, nobody claimed it. 
so I got to keep my little Irish ring. It's actually jewelry made in Ireland too. So I think a little leprechaun left it for me. Anyway, there's a basic shape of the pot of gold. Okay. If you're not happy with the symmetry, you can trim it down more. But once we get it on the ribbon, it's not going to be that big a deal. Now you take your ribbon. Okay. It's very convenient to build that on a post-it because it sticks when you put it on here. So just line it up with the top of your one and a half inch ribbon or however big the ribbon you have that will fit on. Okay, cut it off like that. Now do the same thing on here. Cut it out. It don't matter if you cut into your corners right there. We're going to heat seal it. Okay. So once you got that cut out, it's going to look really funky if it didn't come out right. Just trim it up until you're happy with it. It's not a big deal. There. Take your source of fire and the top of it we don't want to heat seal because it wasn't cut edge. Just heat seal all your edges. Careful not to curl that point right there. Don't burn yourself. Uh huh. I flattened out that side of it. Anyway, there's what today's pot of gold is going to look like. Alright. Now, that you've got that, alright, take your gold ribbon, measure a piece across there that fits. And cut it off. Okay. Now just taking some glue right along the top. Glue that down on there, and then cut the shape to fit. Okay, so there's the golden pot, and this one I have a little accent piece across there. If you want, you can take a piece of 3 8 inch ribbon, cut it in half, heat seal the edge, which that's not heat sealed, heat seal the edge, and then put it on there. I forgot to put that in the supply list, but it's okay. And it just makes a little accent piece, kind of separates top of the pot from the gold that's supposed to be in there. Okay, just put a little glue across there like that. You wouldn't have to cut 3 8 inch ribbon in half, you could always use. Okay, I'm back. My camera's battery went dead. Anyway, we were here making this. Put this little trim piece on right there. And you can wrap it around the back and glue it on the back. Or you can cut it off even with the side. 
it's your choice as to which way you want to go. Just be really out of glue. Of course. Okay, and when this is on there, that'll be the pot of gold, <clears throat> but we can work on that later. Okay, now you want to take your um, rainbow ribbon in whatever order you want it to go in, and you want to start gluing right over here on the side with the red so you just glue it right over the edge right there just put it right over the side if it overlaps we'll trim it like see it overlaps right there that's not a big deal we just trim that off so you can't see it from the front. No problem there. So you start with the red, okay, and then you overlap each one behind it and try to keep them all within this um, thing right here. So you just maybe overlap by half. So enough of your rainbow shows, but I'm going to keep it inside, so let's see how it works when we wing it here. If we can fit all those colors in there. see when you want to eyeball it you want since we got three colors you can kind of guess that when you once you put half of them on there if you're halfway then you should be good with squeezing the other three colors in there See how that's looking in the front? It's looking like they're going into the the pot of gold. And on your last color, if it overlaps. Obviously, just like the other side, we'll just cut it off, give it a trim. But just came out with all the colors <clears throat> showing in there. Give that a little trim right there, and then glue that last one down so that it's not flopping up like that. Any of the others just stick some glue in there if they're not stuck down. Just to glue it across. Okay, now there's the rainbows coming out. Don't worry if they're not perfect because we're going to flop them over anyway. Alright, 
Now you want to take your partially lined alligator clip, okay, and we're just going to attach the pot of gold to it right up there even at the top where the gold is even with the top. Okay, put a little bit of blue. We're just putting it on the end right here because we want to have room to um, put to flop the rainbow over and attach it up here on the clippy. Okay, now that you're attached on there, now you take your first one <clears throat> and bring it down over here and glue it right down like that. So just put some glue right down in there. Bring this over and secure it right there. Now you want to bring these up the side right here, right on the edge. Next one, bring it and guide it around to where you see a little bit of it, just like when you overlapped it in the back. You can push them together. Bring the yellow over, and obviously we're going up at an angle. Just keep putting them in that corner of the previous one. Okay. Now this one's going to be the first one off of the clippy, but that's okay. Two more. And put your finger behind it there so you can push up against it. Just fan them out if they get too stacked there and you can't see it. Just pull them apart a little bit. And our purple one. Okay, now those are all glued together, like that. Now you take your corker or your pom-poms, if you have pom-poms instead. Alright, if you're using pom-poms, obviously you would just pop them on there. If you're using corker, I use at least four inches of corker. You can use more, depending on how big you want your um, cloud to be. But you just take your bottom fold and start it right here in the corner. Put some glue down there in the corner. Make sure your fold is, your loop is going downward and just glue it on there. Okay. Then put a strip of glue across. Lay that corker on there with its natural curl and fold it back this way. Put some across there. Make sure you don't pull it because it, it'll lose its shape. Okay. And we send it back that way. Now just one more loop back through to make it look like full clouds right there. And that should take care of the cloud portion. Just never pull on your corker, just always just let it curl how it curls and lightly tap it into place. Okay, and you did want your corker ends to be heat sealed. I forgot to heat seal the other end, but it's down there, so it doesn't make a difference. Okay, and then there's your pot of gold, the end of the rainbow with the clouds. If you have a decoration to put on the pot, just get you one of these foam stickers. 
I always put glue on it regardless of the sticky it's already got because I don't want it to come off. The child is wearing it. Just glue that right in the middle for your final decoration. And that's how you make a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for St. Patrick's Day. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day and I'll have more St. Patrick's Day um, stuff coming up. Thank you.